am Chef Joe from Clean Eating and today we're talking about salt. Now if you've noticed in your grocery store or market, there are tons of different salts around from pink to black to sea salt, all different flavors as well, right from smoked to Cajun flavored. So first we'll start with our regular iodized salt. Now this salt is very, very fine and it actually has additives in it including iodine and the additives make it not retain moisture so it's designed so that you could get it out of your salt shaker very easily. Now the iodine was put in there a very long time ago around 1924 because there was an iodine deficiency in the world. There's not anymore so there's no need for us to use this and because it has additives in it we tend not to use this in clean eating. We prefer sea salt. Now this is a beautiful coarse sea salt and you can see all the beautiful flakes here. Now this is perfect to put in your salt grinder and you can grind it up into nice fine pieces. You can also buy fine sea salt as well and which you can just use with a measuring spoon or pinch it with your fingers. The next salt we have here is a Himalayan pink salt and it has all kinds of minerals in it. It's a sea salt as well and it has the addition of some magnesium, copper and calcium and that's what gives it its beautiful pink color and you can also get it in a fine grind as well which is absolutely beautiful. It's got a very lovely color, so if you've got this on your table in a little pinch bowl, it looks very pretty. Next we have our kosher salt, and this salt is fantastic. It's not as coarse as our coarse sea salt or our Himalayan salt, but you can actually hear, when I pinch it between my fingers, you can hear the grains of salt being crushed up. Now, kosher salt gets its name because it's used in the koshering process, and it also has no additives or anything in it, so this is a good salt that we love to use as well. Now, kosher salt also has lots of surface area, so it's really good for seasoning because it can really get right into your meats and vegetables. Now, over here we have one of my favorite finishing salts, and this is a flaked sea salt, and it's from South Africa. Now this flaked sea salt is absolutely beautiful and isn't something you tend to want to use when marinating your meats or vegetables. You want to use this as a finishing salt. So you could sprinkle this at the end on top of your crostini or on salads or to finish off a little bit of roasted asparagus. It's got a beautiful crunch and it's absolutely fantastic. This also comes in a smoked variety which is really lovely as well. Now if you have a salt shaker on your table, get rid of it. You can use a little bowl and simply pinch the salt with your fingers. Now you'll see on cooking shows where chefs pinch salt with their fingers and drizzle it into the food and everyone thinks, oh my goodness, they're putting so much salt, how do they, not, how do they know how much they're putting in? Well, you actually get a better measurement of how much salt you're putting in your dish if you pinch it with your fingers. If you're simply shaking salt onto something, you have no idea how much is coming out of that salt shaker. So grab a little bowl, use your fingers, crumble up your nice, your nice coarse salt, and you can add a little bit to your food. Now, when you're cooking with salt, anything that you boil, like green leafy vegetables, asparagus, any sort of pasta or potatoes, you can add a little bit of sea salt to the water just for added flavor. Now, the salt is gonna keep your green leafy vegetables bright, vibrant green, and it'll keep your starchy uh, potatoes and your pastas, it'll give them a little bit of flavor. Now, you don't wanna over salt your water, just make it taste so that it's almost as salty as seawater. That's a good measurement. And again, you can just use your fingers and give it a little taste and see how it goes. Uh, your, all your specialty salts, like your pink salts, your black salts, anything that's a little bit more special and you've paid a little bit more money for, it's absolutely beautiful. So you don't want to use those in your marinades. You want to use them as finishing salts, maybe on top of your breads and your salads and the, uh, finishing off any meats because they look very beautiful and you've sort of bought them for their looks anyway. You don't want to hide them in your marinade. We also like to use a little bit of sea salt in our baked dishes because it really brings out the flavors in anything that you're baking. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon for more tips and tricks at cleaneating.com.